Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach the registration form uh, Java MongoDB uh, database connection using GU application. I have did the GU application. So here, first what I am going to do is, I am going to uh, add the new record. So here, this is the MongoDB uh, GUI. Okay, so here I have created the database called school. Inside the database, I have created the table which name is records. So I am going to add the new record. So name, uh, yeah, I'm going to write Ruby, age 56, sorry, 26, course, I'm going to write Mongo, MongoDB, MongoDB, right, click OK, OK, uh, here it will be inserts, insert completed. Now, if you want to the insert completed, so now here, if you go to check whether it's insert or not, here I'm going to refresh, right click. Here I have to right click the table, view document. So here's seven. You click here, so Ruby 26 ages 26 MongoDB. Okay, it is inserted successfully. Right. Okay, so how to do this program step by step, we'll teach. Right. First, go to the file, new application, Java, Java application, click next. If it is check create main class, you have to uncheck it. Here I'm going to name it as Java MongoDB. You can give any name of the project name. I just give as Java MongoDB. Click finish. Now your project has been created successfully. Uh, so here this is the project which I created. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to register the form. So go to the source package, select the default package, right click, new, a frame form. Here yeah, I'm going to give the name it as registration. This is the name of the form. Okay, this is the form. I'm going to make the registration form here. So get, drag the label over here. You yeah, name it as registration. Registration. Java. Mongo. DB. Right. right click properties click on here bold 24 yeah. I'm going to change the foreground and color as red okay perfect after that I'm going to drag the panel over here select here properties border bevel border okay, hit ok close it now here what I'm going to do is drag the name over here, label. Here I'm going to name name this one name. Right click properties, increase of false font little bit bold with 40. Right. Okay, after that drag one text field. Here I am going to drag the text field here. Right. I click properties, click on the font with 14, with bold, hit OK. Whatever right inside the text field, I just edit text, backspace to remove the text inset again, select change variable txt name. The same thing, what I'm going to do is select this both, all those 50 downs, control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one should be age. This one should be ctxt age. After that, select this both, control C to copy, control V to paste below. This one should be course. Select here, change variable txt course. Right. Now, here what I'm going to do is drag one box uh, here is save. I'm going to name it as save. This one I have to increase the font a little bit bigger, 24. The save one. Right. Perfect. Okay. It's perfect. Now let's select this frame. Right click properties. Code generate center. Again I'm going to go to the source. Control F. 
you have type UI on the find button, press enter key. This is a UI I'm going to change the method. Now here you have to execute the program and check what the uh, window look like here. This is the actual look and feel of the Java application. Right. Now here I'm going to go to again select this one. Hold on, hold on the shift key down and select all the text fields. Increase the right font little bit bigger as 80. Okay, okay. Now let's enter the details. First time I'm going to enter the name, age, and course, all the stuff we will be able to enter. Okay, right. Now let's do the backend part. If you are not installed the Robo Mango in your machine, first you have to install the MongoDB and Robo Mango. If you are if you don't have any idea about that one, I have the installation process, all the stuff I have given the video description how to install the MongoDB, how to create the uh, new database on MongoDB, uh, how to work with the insert code, update code, all the work, how to work with the MongoDB, all the stuff I have given the video description. You just go go through the video and you have to watch it. Okay, the database handling stuff, right? So here, how to create the new database? Okay, you just you you can. This is the my connection. This is a connection. You can create create database. You can create the database. Okay, how to create the database? How to create the table? Go to the collection. And you can create the tables, right? Create collection, you can create the tables, right? I already created the table which is records, right? Records, uh, uh, I have created the table as records. So records table, how to insert the uh, insert document? This is the uh, JSON format. If you view the records here, this is all the JSON format. You can write like this: name, age, course, or JSON format. Okay, you can write the it's a JSON, right? This is a JSON format. Right, this all the records are executed by the JSON format in MongoDB. Right, but this all the stuff I will give the video resume. You just go through and watch the beginner's video. That is must if you are if you are come to the MongoDB connect with Java. Right, this is the uh, right now here. This is no SQL. Okay, this is uh, what is the meaning of no SQL mean MongoDB? There is a no relationship. Okay, this is a no SQL. So now let's write the query. For connect with the database, right? So now what I'm going to do is just copy and paste it over here. This is a connection. I'm going to copy and paste it over here, right? right. I'm going to create the separate public white table. Sorry, connect connection method. Create the method. I paste it over here. Sorry, connection method. Inside the connection method, I paste it this code. Go to the Google and type here Java Man Java MongoDB jar DB jar. This is the jar file we have to download, right? So you can download java uh, jar okay so here's a jar download.com you just go here click on this one here click and the download the mongodb java driver this is important stuff okay if you are installed if you are downloaded it download as zip file you have to extract them you can get a normal folder i already downloaded so how to import this one you can you can see here that there are another folder called libraries here you have to add this, that uh, library uh, mongodb driver select the library folder right click add jar folder here I'm going to add the if you are downloaded it, it can it, it will be look like this jar files so you have to extract them you can get the disk folder after the, inside the folder you have a four different jars you will be able to get it select ja, MongoDB Java this jar Java driver if you import it 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 is successfully reside on the library folder right now if you go here click on this one here is all the libraries you can see here. So I click on this one, first one, the import this one, MongoDB client, this class, error go away. Click on this one, it is import the MongoDB database, this error go away. Like this is simple stuff you have to do, right? MongoDB con data connection, DB connection, I am going to create a DB connection, MongoDB DB connection, right? Simple, right? Okay, this one should be DB connection. So here this is a, another thing, click on this one, you have to import this class right so all the support fine right now what you are what i'm going to do is first i have import the, i have explained this line first line this line 
of the MongoDB connection port. If you are going to check here, if you are click on this one, here localhost, this is a port which is running the MongoDB. So you have to give one here. Localhost, this is a port where the, your MongoDB server is running. Okay, this is very important stuff you have given. After the, if it is success, you have to create the success message. Okay, you have to uh, do the success message and all, right? Okay, so you have to have success message. You no need your success message. Okay, so after that, MongoDB, this is a port. If it is getting error, you can sorry. Okay, so here MongoDB database, you have to create a data. MongoDB, you have to create the object data DB connection. What is the data base you have? So inside this port, this is the MongoDB connection port. If you are on the MongoDB server, this is the port where your MongoDB server is running. Inside the in, then it, it looks to your database, if the database is exists or not. If it is exists to your database, it see the your database name, which is scope. It is there. Okay, here, here this line also correct. Okay. After the third line, it's look at the table, by which is your table. So that is a collection. Okay, here not it's a table, it's a collection. You can see what is a collection mean. You can see if you expand the database, you can see here, there will be the folder of collection. Inside the folder, there will be the table. So here, Mongo connection document so it's a collection db connection dot get connection so this connection we will be getting from this database and inside this get database we have a collection called records so it's go here and check double check with the table is there or not if it is there all the things are fine if you are going to this one connect here so you can Okay, you can write like this. Okay, right now you can put the message system dot out whether it's connect connectivity success or not. You can check here print line connect. If there is any problem, it will be sure. So if you are run it, Right, this will be connected. This one should be the not a wrong. This one not a wrong. This one should be the not a wrong. Okay, so it's connected. Okay, this one should be some message warning message, right? It's not wrong, right? So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the record into the database. So double click on the button, right? So here, what I'm going to say, I'm going to create these variables. This over here, the important thing over here. It's simply, this one get rid of this one, right? This one also I'm going to copy this one. So add it over here. So get rid of this one. Uh, sorry, this line we know it. But it is a commonly we have to access. Otherwise we, we can't access commonly these these things. Collection also put it here over here. It's the only collection. Right. So I'm only active, right. Perfect. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the records in the database. So uh, what I'm going to do is here yeah, I'm going to add these lines kind of the code so simply uh, I'm going to write this one uh, student red, right registration form double click on this button simply we had this code don't worry about the highlight like explain simple codes document dot D I just give the name as D this one should be D Okay, I'll be explained what is a D, is a D. right. I'll be explained, right, no, don't worry. This one should be not an error, this one. TXT, what's the name we have given? TXT name. So we have a, this one should be TXT name. This TXT age, I already put, uh, named the text fields. All are like this, the name, you can check it here. That's the name wrong, that's why it's, right, right. This is the name I have given. Okay, this is the, this how we have insert the record, okay, so. Docu we have to create the document class, this which is inside the MongoDB package. These are the packages that are important. Inside this collection packages, this class will reside on. Create the object D, new document. We have to insert into the JSON format. So JSON, this is the key, this is the value. This is the key, this is the value, key value. So name, so key I am going to give as a text box. What is a, what is the text you are type on this one? It take this as a key, it pass into the value, sorry, uh, take the value and pass into the key. So here this one take the key, sorry, value, pass into the key. Value, pass into the key. So this all the values are reside on the D 
this happened d d will be the collection insert one there will be the insert code there will be the function insert one if you are passing this one it will be added into the collection right so after that i'm going to uh, j option pan dot uh, j option pan dot so message dialog you have to type this here this insert insert that successful now let's try and check okay this is not a problem. let's check uh, we have given the name here as uh, Arun age 23 course J2W hit save button insert successfully if you are check it whether it's working fine or not go here this is your mongodb database right click view document we are here the collection age is stored here the arun your age is 23 your course is j2w this is how the jdbc works using mongodb very simple if you are there will be no sql codes and any not anything else you just write like this simple one okay this is a registration i hope you guys you understood this stuff don't worry the all source code i provide in my tutorsfunny.com website first you have to understand the concept of how it's work right thank you for watching